Hello there, welcome back to your channel. And this time we have brought to you an advanced circuit using two operational amplifiers as shown using two diodes and a handful of resistors, uh, they are connected. And this circuit, uh, we are going to see how it works, what it is. So in our previous model, we talked about precision linear half-wave rectifier using operational amplifier. And we were able to see it uh, was rectifying the signal, alternating signal into a perfect DC. And uh, it was also called as a peak detector circuit. So if you are new to this, uh, refer to those modules uh, which are there on our channel. And now, what about we want a full wave conversion from AC to DC? We want uh, to convert an alternating signal at the input of a circuit to be converted into a direct current signal that is DC, a perfect DC. And we know that there are simple diodes uh, which can be connected in a center tap uh, configuration using a transformer or using a bridge arrangement. So a lot of tutorials are already available there. However, the drawbacks of those circuits, although they are simple, is that there is a diode voltage drops uh, and there is a requirement of a center tap transformer or a transformer itself. Moreover, those circuits using purely diodes only are not able to convert AC signal into a DC signal if the AC signals are small in magnitudes. So diode voltage drops are 0 0.7 volt assuming it's silicon diodes. So you have a difficulty in uh, having the AC signals below that level to be converted into a DC. So to circumvent that problem and improve the performance, we have this precision rectifier circuits where you take the advantage of operational amplifiers, very high open loop gain and you put them in a particular configuration because op-amp also can have a gain in closed loop when you connect them in a special fashion, such as inverting and non-inverting and the differential mode. So let's have a look at how this circuit is going to work. So I have two operational amplifier as shown. It has a positive and then negative supply rails and I am providing the supply to those of amps through an external voltage source. Look at this positive voltage is coming to the positive pin, supply pin of both the op amps and negative supply pins are grounded. Now to the uh, positive pin of the op amp one here, I am grounding it and I am applying an external AC signal through a resistor to the negative pin of the op-amp. Then in the feedback, I have this resistor and a diode making back connection to the output. So I also see the same input uh, is coming right over here and that is through resistor R3. I'm connecting it to the positive pin of the op-amp two. Negative pin of the op-amp is connected midway between the terminals of R4 and R5 and output is making connection back to R5. And you see the diode D1, as I said before, here is an, another diode D2 making a connection as shown. So what is happening here, we have the positive input and the negative going signal, that is the pure sine wave at a desired frequency. And during the positive half cycle, that signal comes right here, right here, making the positive at the anode of the diode, making it powered by So it acts as a closed switch. Assuming we use the ideal diode, so there is no diode voltage drop. Um, there is no uh, voltage drop across the diode. 
and then uh, the same positive signal is coming to the cathode of the diode D2, making it reverse bias, so it acts as an open circuit. So when this diode is closed, the circuit in the first part looks like a purely inverting amplifier with the gain set by the ratio of resistors R2 and R1. So if they are of equal values as shown, the output here will be the inverted form of the input. So for a positive going input, you have a negative going output. For a negative going input, you have a positive going output. However, we have another stage here. So let's see if uh, this signal, because the diode is closed here, this signal forms an uh, input of to the negative pin of op amp 2 and to the positive pin of the op amp we have input that is coming from the input side right here so the output is the inverted form of input so that is coming to the negative form so let me draw here for example uh, you have a positive going signal and the output is your negative going output here for the amplifier one. And that comes through this register is right here. And here comes the same signal as you can see from through this register, we have this one, okay? And now this amplifier A2 acts as a difference amplifier, difference amplifier. And the output is the difference between the two uh, multiplied by the gain set up by the combination of R4, R5, R3, uh, etc. So that said, with that said, let's say you have a negative going input right here. So you have negative half cycle. So making this diode reverse bias now and negative also through this uh, connection right here, the negative comes here making it forward bias so this diode acts as a closed switch and now you can see the output is disconnected uh, because there is no feedback through r2 back to the input of this one so the loop is open however the signal uh, the negative signal is coming right here and this same signal is going through r4 and to the negative pin of this. So you have this negative cycle right here. And here also you have negative cycle right here. So the effect of that would be, again, this uh, A2 block will act as a different amplifier and the output will be produced accordingly. Okay, so let us uh, understand for the full sign we have applied at the input, what is the output looks like? Okay, so what I'll do, I will just simulate the circuit and before that let me show you what arrangement I have done here. So I right click this voltage source. You see I have a DC offset of 0 volt. I'm applying the 0 0.3 volt signal at a frequency of 1 kilohertz and number of cycles are 10. I'm uh, running it, running the simulation for 10 cycles. And I am now going to click the click the simulation button that is uh, helping me to plot the waveform. So here I am, I click on the schematic and I can see what is the signal I want to plot. So input signal is uh, clearly seen that I have this pure sine wave applied at one kilohertz and the peak value is 300 millivolt. What about I want to check the output right here. So you basically can see output is a very good uh, DC converted signal. It's not purely DC, it's called as pulsating DC. However, for a positive half cycle of input, I have a positive output. For the negative half cycle of the input, I have the same output but inverted form. So it's a purely uh, full wave rectifier circuit and it is called as precision rectifier. Look at the transition when input passes through the zero, the output is uh, stopping there and for the negative half cycle output is again 
uh, tracking this one. So you can zoom in also and look at this uh, output level. Okay. And uh, this is how you can actually see how to design your full wave rectifiers. I have chosen values of the registers to be equal, all registers. You can play around by changing the values. For example, if I make R1 greater than uh, the input, uh, greater than output, for example, I make it 50K, you can see how the output behaves. Run simulation and the output is uh, still there. However, the first stage is acting as not the gain stage. However, it is acting as an attenuator. In uh, in the previous case, it acts as an amplifier because it provides gain. Now it is acting as an attenuator. The signal is degraded. Okay. But it uh, depends on your choice. You can uh, design the circuit accordingly. So I have a gain set back to R2 to its original value. Similarly, you can play with the values of other resistors. Let me plot the output at the op amp one. So if I see that uh, a kind of saturation is happening at the top uh, and for the positive going, I have a negative output and for the negative going, I have a positive output. So it is acting as a inverting amplifier, obviously. Okay, so you can also see how the diode can vary. For example, let's say I want to plot the current through the diode. So here is the current through the diode. For the positive half cycle of the input, I have this diode forward bias. And for the negative half cycle of the input, I have uh, a negative voltage drop. Uh, I mean, the current is, uh, let me, let me see that the current is zero on the right y axis. See here, and for the positive half cycle, I have the current to be 60 microampere. Similarly, I would like to plot the current through the diode uh, D2, which uh, shows me the pink waveform. And you can see that for the negative half cycle of the input, I have a peak value of about uh, 20 microamps. And for the positive half cycle of the inputs, I have a zero microamperes. So, but the magnitude of the currents uh, of both the diodes are not equal. So that is something uh, you want to think about and accordingly adjust your settings. But uh, remember, all things are pretty clear here and you have successfully designed the full wave rectifier as shown. So hope you found this video useful and if you did so, share it with others, click the like button, subscribe to your channel and uh, share it with others for a wider reach. Stay tuned. Till then, wish you happy learning.